Hi, this is Rick and welcome to the 11th Microsoft Word 2007 tutorial and today's topic is the importing or inserting of uh, Excel data into a Microsoft Word document. So what I'm doing here is I'm starting off with a basic uh, spreadsheet here that I've created just a really simple um, you know couple rows and couple columns like a sales chart here as an example and I have a, a blank Word document so there's a couple options of, of the way you want to do this option one is just go ahead and highlight the cells that you want to copy over so if I go from the top left here and cell A1 hold down the mouse left key drag it over to the bottom right let go of the mouse and then I can right click and choose copy if I go into the word document I can go in and I can create I can just do a right click and say paste okay so that pasted the Excel um, data into the word um, document so you'll notice it put it in, you know, the f same formatting and might might not be exact, but um, so you might have to tweak it. So one of the things you can do is go up here and um, highlight the whole. You'll see this little uh, um, cross symbol up on the top left. You can click it; it'll select the whole chart or the whole table that's here. And then you can right click within the chart or within the table and go down to. Um, table properties. Sorry, you can't see that on the screen recorder. Hold on a minute here. Let me shrink that. Let me see if I can move it up here. Go to table properties, and then um, what'll happen is you'll get several options here. You can change the tables, the rows, the columns, or the cells. We're going to go into borders and shading and choose style. Is we'll leave the default for now, and then we can choose what option we want. We're going to choose all. Right, so that means you you know everything has the same border on it. I'm gonna say okay, okay, and now you notice it changed into a more of a um, standard you know, look and feel of a of a table. And then if you want to tweak it, you can bring your mouse till it changes to a um, kind of a uh, up and down line with arrows on either side and drag it. You know, change it however you want to. Uh, you can edit the text. You can go in here and um, move it around, like center the titles if you want to. Um, you know, so you could do the normal tables um, functionality. So another thing you can do is rather than rather than um, you know just copy and paste it in there, this might be a little bit more flexible, especially working with m more data. Is to um, bring it in and import it as a CSV file or a comma delimited file and how to do that is you go and you do file save as and we're gonna you do the pull down here and you choose comma delimited and you go ahead and say save I've already done this by the way um, so you'll, I, you're not gonna get these same messages but you will get this um, that the file type doesn't support certain things just say okay and you'll also get another warning that some features are not compatible say yes okay so now that data is saved now we go back into word and we insert sorry we do open and then you'll by default by the way you'll see this will default to word documents so you won't see a lot okay so you need to do the pull down here on the bottom right and do all files and then you'll get your test file and I saved it in this area too you'll notice it's in a different area too so you see what happens here it brought it in as a um, as just this file separated by commas so what we do here is we highlight the whole um, all the data and then we go to insert table and we go convert text to table and you notice over here it sets up everything automatically for you and it separates the text in the table by commas um, because we're bringing in a common delimited file but if you had it separated by um, hyphens or something else or tabs you could do that also so just say OK and there you have a nice clean table and again the same thing you can clean it edit you know edit it format it however you want to you know change the change the table styles colors style shading or whatever Anyways, that's what I want to share with you today. Uh, thanks for joining and please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.